and we had so many good foals and it's so hard to tell them, yeah, you have a fantastic auction foal, but uh, we can't take him. I'm a former uh, show jumper. Uh, I rode uh, an awful lot of young horses, also a lot of approved stallions like uh, Thunder, Toulon, uh, Kashmir. And uh, while I was riding, I, I also did quite a bit of dealing. Uh, sold horses like Plot Blue, Portofino. Got a bit fed up with riding, and uh, I was really passionate about breeding. So um, I started uh, breeding for uh, Winning Moods, probably the most famous uh, one I bred so far. Uh, running our full auction now for, I think it's the seventh year this year. Um, in, uh, and for that's for the show uh, auction, the live auction. And, uh, but we had so many uh, breeders offering foals and we had so many good foals and it's so hard to tell them, yeah, you have a fantastic auction foal, but uh, we can't take him because we have too many. So that's why we uh, uh, started also with the online auction. The average price at our uh, live auction is around 13, 13 and a half thousand euros. And in our online auction, the last uh, year, we had eight and a half. But what I think is more important, that's that in our live auction, we sold from the 38 foals and embryos, we sold 34. Then three of them, we gave the opportunity to move on to the online auction. And there we sold another two. What we're looking for is uh, nice types, uh, good movers, and also uh, yeah, very good model lines. Uh, it's easier to sell fillies out of those good model lines uh, in uh, the and on the continent. The best advice I can give to breeders is uh, use a top uh, mare with a good pedigree, sound, uh, with a lot of quality. Um, and then uh, I think it's more important to spend a little more money to the mare than to the stallion because all stallions passed an approval test so they already have a certain quality and they are normally sound enough to get approved. If you want to go to auctions it can be more interesting or it is more interesting to use famous stallions but that comes with a price. Uh, if you want to breed in the long term so not only for uh, to sell foals but also to, to breed top horses, then uh, just use a good stallion. He doesn't need to be expensive, but just use a good one. And he can be young as well, uh, but if you use a young one, make sure also his mother line is interesting enough that if in later life his, um, his performance is not good enough, that you still have his genes from his mother line. Mm -hmm. 